Hello, hello. I managed to get my hands on a few more games that don't involve the Empire and gonna cast them here. We have a dwarf player, Lidden. Uh, I faced his dwarves many a time as wood elves and it made me cry. He's a very good dwarf player. And Nocturne and Britannia. Um, same goes for him, very good Britannia player. So, uh, single faction tournament battle, two mains clashing, and Itza is generally a map that dwarves very much like because it is small and you can shoot Artie from your spawn. And going into the army analysis, the dwarf army feels generally like a bit of everything. We have a cannon, we have some great weapon warriors, we have some shielded, we have a slayer, we have a crossbow, a single miner, a single gyro with the brimstone gun, so the new flamethrower. Um, it's not super good considered by the mouse, but I'm curious about the performance. I haven't seen it in a real game yet. Then Grumbrindel with Discouraged, yes, his or his strong short time duelist buff, I'd call it. Uh, the flash bombs to really screw a knight. And I don't really know what that is. I guess units around him get unbreakable for a short duration. Not like dwarves are unbreakable factually already. Um, Blood Oaths, Felix, to heal Grumbundle up. The only source of healing that dwarves can get for in general, except war machines and Malachi, I guess. Uh, a rune lord, also with rune of slowness, now surprises here, and Ross and rune, yeah, a usual combination. Now, Britannia's side is a peasant swarm, mostly, and we also have a Felix, a paladin, Felix and Fey enchantress. That's an unusual combination. The Fey can heal herself, so you usually don't see Felix combined, but hey, we will see. Is that paladin on foot? Actually, yes, that is funny. Um, Fey Enchantress, the new strongly buffed Drellus, that is also strong even in the into the 35% uh, magic resistance of the dwarves, spell resistance, I should say, and the usual set of the Fey, um, the Mortis Engine, Fey of the Fey buffing things up, and the Comet Bound spell. Uh, if you peasant archers and then I don't go through everything here individually a whole tide of peasants and a few foot squires it's a usual relic race and then I leave it running so the gyros actually get a decent amount of damage from the peasants here need to be a bit careful so there's the first shot and Yeah, I guess if it wasn't wasn't peasants, it would be fine. 50 values, not too bad. Uh, for units that is very hard to shut down and uninteractive, with their uh, amazing speed, above 100, uh, it can easily escape all um, Bretonian air tools if it's properly managed and not getting hit by some slows or something. So air combat usually is a bit janky, so um, you need a strong speed increase. Yeah, it's not too... Mm -hmm. 150. Though also the discouraged effect is quite nasty, but not yet in this game state. What are they getting damage from? Eh? Crossbows? Cannons? Weird. So here we have Long Drong Slayer Pirates, which is interesting. They're a very low ammunition uh, unit, and now they're gonna shoot into peasants, which isn't a very efficient ammo <laughs> spent. 
Uh, okay, he is Sunder as with Scratch Rakers, is that right? Yes. I, I'm not too sure about the new Dwarf units. Uh, um, he has a rather interesting fight, and Felix versus Felix action. Uh, Paladin, there's some, some blasting charges trying to clear off the infantry. The infantry really helps the Bretonian side by soaking up damage uh, from the Lords. Oh, he got unbreakable. That's what Grumble, the, the ability I wondered about earlier, probably does. A comet coming from for the miners, and I would give a strategical analysis of what the people here think, but honestly, they just full force front frontal go for it. <laughs> There's uh, honor and the glorious charge. <laughs> And for both sides. <laughs> uh, not a lot of knights yet, which is to some degree understandable because there's this cannon on full overwatch. Um, instead we get a new wave of foot squires. Um, Bretonia holding this point, actually also holding the mid. Dwarfs are more invested into shooting here, but yeah. They can afford to value trade a bit. Bretonia isn't very good at holding points. Especially, uh, their leadership is weak. Usually, foot squires are okay in leadership. Um, and dwarves have a lot of artillery fire debuffs, discouraged debuffs on the flames, and such stuff. Fey and Shanfix trying to get sniped by cannons, but they can't really hit her, which is lucky. Um, sometimes you have them just completely. Oh, so we here have the dwellers below, probably upgraded, the upgraded version is way stronger, into a unit of slayers and some surrounding scraps. Almost a whole slayer down. That's very efficient spend. Ooh. That, that's a... okay, it's not as much a blob as I thought it was. Uh, it's mainly just two, two infantry units left here. Uh, the rest is just icons from the single entities. Dwarf shooting still going on. How is the cannon? Yeah, the cannon only has peasants to shoot at. Um, so its value is n not super great. Oh, here we have a Felix routed to the edge. He noticed. Um, I think he tried to chase him with uh, his own Felix, but was a bit blocked. Grumrindel actually lost against the Paladin and Felix, or I guess, I don't know what else would have done it. A comet almost dodged here, uh, but shortly. Yeah, those are actually a slow unit. There's so many dwarf units now that are fairly fast, actually. Like here, Giants, there's 40. Uh, well, it's not. Um, and some of the Ranger variants. Uh, so. <laughs> um. Those are questing knights, and they are dead. <laughs> Did uh, the Grudge Rakers? Yes. Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. The cannon is not the only thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The, the, that a fat downhill charge just frontally shot deleted. I didn't focus on it, so I didn't completely see it. But um, the Britannia here has a good object control, it uses a full capture weight or four capture weight mounted human to snake the points away from the dwarves and uh, also held the mid for a long time. So they have some 
decent lead here, but the longer the game goes, the harder it's gonna get. Um, until maybe this can cannon goes offline. Though if it's unsummoned from full health, you can get it quickly back. Um, so those are also cresting knights uh, getting hit by the cannon. And yeah, you, you can see the traces of the cannonballs here. Um, and then they have to try to break dwarf leadership, which is also. Oh, it's like actually force path into the cannon, but the calf does stupid things. Calf be like that sometimes. Um, the Fey. The Fey is probably the redeeming factor here. Fact factor. Uh, don't know what I said. Um, she mortars things down, and since actually Grumrindle and Felix had to be zoned out, which are the main things that can kill her, um, she got a lot of value from the mortars and, of course, her magic. The magic was more deciding factor. They doing good. They doing good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the cannon got compromised, but it almost had no ammo left, so it's not as valuable. Though, if the unit um, dies or is routed off the field, uh, has to route off the field, it takes way longer for the cannon to come back. That Discord ping was mine. Um, and in this time, maybe the dwarves, uh, the dwarves, the Bretonians can play more with cavalry. Though uh, we still have things like here's a giant slayers, um, which also put stop to cavalry pretty heavily. Uh, it has hundred kills, but it's just peasants for now. Um, Oh, we have here the Fey versus Grumrindle. Not a good trade for the Fey. Not at all. Um, a resummon Felix, I guess it is. Or did he heal up? Can you see the healing cap now? Couldn't you? No. Probably resummoned. I didn't see him dying, but yeah. Um, the Fey unsummons. Can she manage? No, cancels and tries to reposition. Rather. Um, but with the thing here chasing now, the point gets taken. Uh, the dwarves honestly looking a bit thin here. Uh, I'm not sure where the past investments went into. But they're very overextended on stuff and giant slayers just getting peasant swarm is a win on the Bretonian bo uh, book if they can hold or retake the point. Um, in return, Cannon might have shut down the Fey here, but it didn't previously show a good sign of hitting her, apparently, um, as she is on foot, was on foot. Um, the gyrocopters. Oh, I don't know. It's definitely their second life, maybe the third. I suspect it's a third life. Um, the player really cycled them through. And uh, here we have a mass route from the Bretonian side. Oh, how very peasant of you. Yeah, this is common occurrence. Um, here, unbreakable slayers just holding down such a huge heart. Um, the mid get taken down, but uh, the dwarves now have to triple cap, so they have to take this point too, which is completely possible on this map for them. On others it might be an actual problem. Um, so yeah, I suspect the Bretonian side will now 
one point reinforce this point as much as I can and second rally their forces here and summon maybe a few new to at least put pressure in here so that a reasonable amount of forces has to be dedicated to this side and the dwarves can't just full force engage here. Um, so yeah, that's where the small map um, also works against the dwarves since they are still fairly slow and can't bounce between objectives quickly, um, but the Bretonians can. Um, so it, it's a bit of a double-edged blade. They can uh, come to the objectives rather quickly, um, but also the opponent can kite them more. What is happening here? Was that... No, it wasn't a cannon. Was that just a blasting charge volley? Maybe they got flash Discouraged. Where are they? Oh, it's, uh, that's from Grumbledot's axe. Rune axe. Um, yeah, this damage must... Now the flash bomb going down, the my Oh it's also melee defense down, so yeah. Hmm. And they are fairly buffed with frenzy. Uh not looking good for the knights. <laughs> the blasting charge volley must have really taken like a third of the HP. Which is surprising to me. Since it's not a lot of explosion. Uh, uh, armor piercing, but um, charging and forwards moving units have some habit of getting more models in the same explosion ra radius than um, standing units. Here's the next volley, deleting a man at arms shields. Um, it was really important to shut down this unit, but. Mm. It didn't quite work, even with the 1100 gold questing knight. Um, single entities and some foot squares taking this point here. Here isn't a very strong force. Um, Bretonia now has to choose between trying to hold this side or trying to take this. If either of it works, they win, because dwarfs don't really have the time anymore to even get things into the points with their speed. Um, they barely restored capture weight here, but that's not gonna hold for long. Their forces are gonna dwindle way f faster than... Oh, here's some egg capture weight returning. Maybe if... No, the point had fallen. Um, and now they would... Maybe be... Oh, no, all the forces here also got deleted. Um, that's not looking super good, but Britannia has a bit of time to try to take this back before um, they can, uh, before the other side can win on a double cap. Um, at this point, th there's all hope, would be all hope lost, and if you reach this end phase, um, the clock swings around quickly and is really merciless. Um, but Bretonia takes it. They just have those three or yeah cheap cavalry and cavalry capture weight to outcapture this point here. And don't really try to fight, just some I I say fake charges and they take the point back and now dwarfs don't have time to um takes us back. It's over in 10 seconds. Uh, the site here was a distraction to a few units that the dwarves really had needed over there. GG! A very low knight Bretonia army on this map and instead Opting for more cheap capture weight um, with 
boss man. So it was only two? Maybe it would have been to have them in the main army and actually take the points first now with the unlocks. Um, but yeah, uh, the <laughs> guardians on five. Uh, uh, this is so sad, the values on the knights here, but the dwarves, uh, you've seen the few situations, the cannon, the blasting charges, uh, the gyrocopters, I don't know how often they lift, three times, three times at least, at the very least, uh, Maybe four. So that price is. Yeah. I don't know if the dwarves had different things to summon except to cycle them at some point, but. Ooh. I, I can't call them bad, though. I, if, and the dwarf player probably also knows better than uh, I what. To really, what really is the thing with them, uh, especially since they got reworked. Grumrandal, yeah, the single entity fighter, and also the flash bombs and discourage and everything. Breaking ranks of Bretonians, causing mass routes. Though he got his ass kicked in the beginning somehow a bit. I don't know how really that happened. Usually he doesn't. Uh, but instead chops everything that is so daring to stand in this vicinity. Um, Fey, yeah, I think it was mostly her magic and a bit of the, um, what's that called, Mortis engine. Since she had uh, to be unsummoned at some point when things really were kind of needed still to win on a combat based side but yeah not taking the leadership debuff is of course a huge priority felix yeah i think he lived twice but he also paid for himself twice so uh good choice i guess just for his combat prowess not necessarily the healing or a Rather self healing, he also heals himself, which is kind of strong. Um, yeah, the foot squares probably all lift multiple times and not too amazing. So, yeah, from the Bretonian side, even with their low capture weight, it was a pure capture weight approach they did here. And the mounted yeoman played a huge role in this. I think they were only summoned once, maybe, but you've seen what they did to the charging questing knights. Amazing unit, apparently. I'm scared of them with facing them <laughs> with other things. Um. Yeah, so much for this and I'll probably do another one later today. Um, since I have some replays. So, see you then.